What's up, Cinephiles? Welcome back to our channel. For today's episode, we are going to do a review of the new Netflix anime original series. It's called Japan 6 2020 and it's directed by Pyon Gang Ho and Mosaki Yuasa. Quick reminder guys, if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing for more discussions about film and TV. We do weekly reviews. Now Phil, tell us what this series is all about. Okay Kevin, so Japan Sinks is about the Muto family who is put to the ultimate test for survival after a series of massive earthquakes put Japan into a state of chaos. Okay, so Japan Sinks 2020. I would like to stress on the year 2020, adding that title really puts it on a pervasive and ominous tone even if it's on an animation it really doesn't hold back and what i realized is that when there's an earthquake apart from the aftershocks a lot of natural disasters will follow like there's a volcanic eruption poison gas tidal wave then another earthquake every episode there's a highlight of each natural disaster and with that we're going to lose some characters it's really a tale of resilience using their skill sets to grasp for the survival with this 10 episode arc i felt like the season has done so much when we see apocalyptic shows the pervading tone for most of the part is dark gritty and the sense of hopelessness but this series from this opening credits you can find that there's a moment of serenity which kind of felt weird at first but then as the series progresses i don't know about you but this one starts to win me over that much hope that's needed in the last episode kind of justifies the tone this film it's going for so it bounces back from something traumatic to something calming which ultimately worked for me so that's the most defining trait of this series has for me so what do you have Phil? yeah okay first off i have to give props to the animation because the animation of this series is really great i think one of its advantages is in hollywood we've seen a lot of disaster movies like 2012 or san andreas those kinds of live yeah. action disaster films but the advantage of doing an animation film for a disaster film is there's no need to hold back in violence or the gore of it it really adds to the tension and the stressful vibe that this series really gives the first few episodes you're really gonna be stressed about what these people are going through just to survive so I have to give props to that and another thing that I like you already mentioned this the ending has a really great message about nationality it's just a bummer that I really had tons of issues with this that first few episodes was so great it was so tension filled but by the middle of this series it comes to a screeching halt there's a sense of urgency that these people are trying to go somewhere to be safe but something happens in the middle of this series that sense of urgency quite disappears and it kind of turned into something different it didn't feel like a disaster movie so I didn't really like that middle part it felt really out of place after that middle part when they encountered all these natural disasters they escaped most of it even though it's very unlikely I, I don't see how they could escape that in real life like what you mentioned there's a lot of deaths in this series most of those deaths felt gratuitous to me and that just really bothered me so I didn't really felt much because it's kind of frustrating seeing these characters dying for well for what the script didn't have to make these people die it just felt really gratuitous to me I didn't really particularly enjoyed my entire watching of this series when I said that I love this series and then you replied back with <laughs> I didn't particularly yeah. like it I started to think no because I've done so much reviews with you and when you said something like this my head starts thinking like hmm what part did Phil <laughs> did that like probably the middle part I said to myself because that <laughs> that part I have to agree that feels detached the sense of urgency is bogged down the title of the series Japan sink will it sink so <laughs> Something tells me that you know already the yeah. answer about this because this will be an underwhelming show if they don't live up to its title. Looking at on a scientific perspective, mm. not every island on Japan will sink. Not every prefecture of Japan will yeah. sink. Maybe one by one. Some of these places might not be as affected as tremendous by this catastrophic event 
as others so when they found that safe haven this false paradise i felt like slowing things down can help to give a moment to breathe to these characters because early on first episodes we have lost major characters already some of them were unceremoniously killed off something holds me back that these are not just gratuitous mm -hmm. kills because that could be possible in real life sometimes you're strolling around sometimes you're just digging a hole then you die that happens mm -hmm. these characters they realize the need to carry on because they're in the face of natural disaster given the chance to catch up and explore what they're feeling in the middle episode that didn't really bother much me on the whole arc the show stresses a point that like it's islands of japan one by one people will go down come to the end i think it's a good comeback that just really won me over because the sense of nationalism is there and also it kind of redefined the perspective of japan we have supporting characters here who you can accuse as being racist but in this phase of disaster Japan can't really stand on its own. It needs the help of other countries. As we tackle on those themes, it ultimately grew to something more meaningful. We started on the core group of the family, just like any other Japanese animation. And then throughout their journey, we meet strangers with different perspectives. It really takes you on a ride. There's a lot of mixed messagings for me actually in this series. Okay. And now that I think about it, <laughs> I think my biggest problem is probably that this series just doesn't feel grounded enough for the first few episodes i loved it it felt really grounded in reality even though this is quite the massive disaster we all know that this can still happen in real life so what they are experiencing what they're struggling during the beginning really felt grounded to me but as this series just keeps going on and on and on it just didn't feel as grounded anymore maybe i've been expecting something like grave of the fireflies for this series but of of course, that's a bit of unfair expectation from me. But again, the ending message about nationality, I won't take away from that because I think that they did that effectively. If it weren't for that, I would have given this movie an even lower score. <laughs> To be honest. <laughs> You're talking about the suspension of belief when it comes to the disasters, yeah, yeah. right? That thought also crossed my mind, but maybe since we're dealing about animation, you have much free reign when it comes to animation. Most of the things that you won't take happen in reality, they're given a free pass sometimes when they're taken on an animation context. So even though some of the uh, things that happen in here are a little bit far-fetched from reality, I did latch onto it. I just love how this series imbibes this element of unpredictability not just on the disaster but also when it comes to playing off with the tones like there is a remarkable scene towards the end where some of the characters start to do freestyle rapping and i really did not expect that coming because it felt so surprisingly natural and those light-hearted moments i don't know if that worked for you but i think that really balanced this movie from that generic dreadful tale that we've seen so many times and adding that flair letting its characters sh shine because we have a lot of supporting characters here and given their time here i think they really transform the perspective of our young minds especially yeah. ayumu at some point the series starts to feel like a slasher film like oh is this what we're going for every it's episode? It's like Final and Destination, man. Die? Yeah. <laughs> Given the nature of the show, this is like the end of the world. Your whole country is sinking. So it only makes sense that we are going to be faced with a lot of character deaths. And I don't want the show to just delve on to some generic deaths. And it made a way to make them more interesting and think of multiple ways how to kill someone during an apocalyptic event. So in conclusion, yeah, I think the animation is great. It has an amazing message at the end. The earlier parts of this is great. It's very tension-filled, but I just didn't feel like it's as grounded as I would love it to be. And I think the middle part bogged down the pacing and the sense of urgency of this series. Something that I've learned though, if you're in a disaster situation, it's really not advisable to take pictures. <laughs> Every time they take <laughs> pictures, I knew something was gonna freaking happen, so uh, that's something I learned at least. But overall, I'm going to give this series a 3 out of 5 stars.
even though this series is something that we don't really need but then again the year 2020 this is not news we are so accustomed with all the bad things that's happening so why don't you indulge yourself in this hyper realist scenario the show has hit so many marks when it comes to entertainment thrillist aspects and to delivering its themes that tone that i haven't seen honestly anywhere an apocalyptic show okay. it's something that i really enjoyed so i'm gonna go as high as a four and a half out of five for this one wow yeah okay so that's it for our review of japan sinks 2020 if you like this video hit that like button and subscribe to our channel also guys we want to know what you think tell us on the comment section below thank you for watching until then see you on the next one bye bye guys bye